Absolutely, and what a time to be alive indeed. We know that the world right now is facing a lot of problems. We're experiencing tremendous amounts of anger, there's fear, there's pain. And we need to hear a message that in these dark times, joy and compassion still exist, that they will win at the end of the day. Now, two of the world's most respected leaders, Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu and His Holiness the Dalai Lama, have come together to show how we can discover joy in the face of adversity and suffering in a new book called The Book of Joy. It's co-authored by Douglas Abrams, who joins us this morning to tell us about uh, his work uh, with these two incredible leaders. Of course, he's, he was very well known for his fact-based fiction that uh, he's written before. But thank you so much for joining us. It's great to be here. And um, I mean, just looking at this cover, it, it, it's awe-inspiring, it's breathtaking, and a book that has been five years in the making, if I had that correctly, uh, yes. Douglas. What has it been like working with two of the most respected spiritual and religious leaders in the world in constructing and putting together this book of joy? Well, they're just extraordinary together. I mean, they have this amazing friendship, and they're actually incredibly mischievous uh, and playful when they're together. It's really fun. You think they're going to be these uh, very serious, sober, uh, holy men, and in fact, they're uh, taking the mickey out of each other all the time and teasing each other. Yeah. And we were at lunch at one point, and uh, Archbishop Tutu leans over and says to the Dalai Lama, act like a holy man. So, I mean, they're just, you know, they're like schoolboys, and they're just uh, incredible together. As soon as you said that they're very mischievous together, I, I just imagine that iconic laugh that we know that the Desmond Tutu for. Yes. What does is, what is the Dalai Lama's laugh sound like? Uh, well, it's, it's, not, it's not as much of a cackle as Archbishop Tutu's. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a more restrained Buddhist laugh, but yeah, uh, it doesn't yeah. have that great uh, up the flagpole that uh, Archbishop Tutu has. Yeah. So, it's great. so when you got to speaking to them and starting out this book, what was the reason that they thought it was important to address issues like strife and suffering in our time? Well, I think you said it. Um, we're in a time of so much fear and anger and despair. And, you know, the Dalai Lama reminds us that the very purpose of life is to seek happiness. Mm. And Archbishop Tutu tells us that joy is actually bigger than happiness because yeah. you'd, uh, happiness is often uh, dependent on some external circumstance, like we're going to get the job or we're going to fall in love and then we'll be happy. Yeah. But joy is something that's accessible to us right now at any point in our life. And I think these two men have had incredible adversity, uh, both obviously in their own lives, but also in their people uh, here in South Africa, for yeah. example. Yeah. But they remind Remind us that you can still find that sense of joy and laughter and love even in the face of great suffering. Yeah. Are these some of the most important lessons you've learned while working with Archbishop Desmond Tutu? I understand you've been writing with him, working with him for the past decade or so. Yes. Well, it's been an amazing privilege to get to work uh, with the Arch. Um, he's just, just such an extraordinary man. I mean, I think working on this book in particular was uh, a realization that the fastest way to experience joy in our own lives mm -hmm. is to bring joy to others. And I think wow. Archbishop Tutu is a kind of reminder for the world of how compassion and love uh, and kindness is really the way yeah. uh, forward. Yeah, I always say that beautiful things are made even more so beautiful when they're shared. Yes, exactly. Um, so tell me about the hashtag share the joy campaign, which is, I think, an extension yes. of the book, right? That exactly. the, the two, um, uh, Desmond Tutu, Archbishop Desmond Tutu and His Holiness the Dalai Lama are involved in and how they want the world to be involved in hashtag share the joy. Yeah, well, um, I think the, the reminder is of the world that we're living in has so much uh, fear and despair at this moment, and it's important to be sharing the joy, to recognize that actually in the end joy and love and compassion will win. Yeah. So hashtag share the joy is asking people to take a little video of themselves talking about what gives them joy, yes. and then to post it online uh, with the hashtag share the joy, and to remind us that uh, in the end it is going to be joy that is the That's winner right. in the end. Absolutely. Well, thank you for bringing us this joyous news. And I understand the book is now available. The Book of Joy is now available countrywide. Yes. And uh, I'm certainly going to be getting myself a copy. And I can't wait to discover some of the, the, you know, the truths and the wonders that you have uncovered through writing this book over the past It was amazing. Time. It was so, such a privilege. Douglas, thank, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Go and check it out. It is available nationwide. It's called The Book of Joy. And what a time. Uh, how more appropriate a book could there be at, in these dark times that we live in? Well, let us know what you think about it. If Maybe if you have actually bought the book yourself and you have read it too. All right, now it is time for the news headlines.